Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a mini Kelly unboxing. I'm really excited to finally be doing this because I'm dying to start using this bag. So I hope you had an amazing Christmas. For me, it's still Christmas, but by the time you see this, I hope that you had an amazing holidays with your family, friends, or however you spent it, or even a happy new year. And let's get into opening it. In case this is the first video that you see of me, my name is Lou and I make videos about luxury handbags, shoes, traveling, I also do vlogs. So if you like any of those topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. This is a very exciting unboxing for me. I've been waiting for this bag for so, so long and it took me moving countries to be able to finally get it. I got this like a couple of weeks ago and it's been under the tree scenes. I wanted to give you a proper video with mud shots and what fits and like the full story instead of of like putting it into a vlog for me this is very very special i don't know thing is i, I really wanted to make like a full video for the mini kelly i think that it deserves its own thing i'm gonna talk about everything the process the price um a little bit of backstory i just moved to barcelona so i was living in mexico and in mexico it's easier to get back so i had an amazing essay and i would put myself on the wish list and i would get the calls and it was no purchase history or anything like that and surprisingly here in barcelona is similar in some ways so when I moved here I went to the boutique because I wanted to get something for my birthday so I went and bought a pair of cheaper sandals and that's when I started to have an essay so an essay is a sales associate and is the person that's gonna sell the items to you at the store if you ever go to any luxury store the person who attends you that's a sales associate so in Hermes what happens is that if you live in the city and you go regularly to the store that becomes your sales associate so if you're looking for a blanket you text him and he will let you know if he has it if you're looking for anything that's your person so i finally got an essay when i got that day into the store and when i told him that i was living here he offered me to be put on the wish list which for me was a little bit confusing because it didn't work like that like they they had an ipad and they just put whatever you're looking for he asked me what i was looking for so initially i thought mini kelly was going to be impossible that it was kind of pointless to be put on the wish list for a mini kelly so i told him that i want to put myself on the wish list for a Birkin 35. Contrary to what I believed, it was easier to get a mini Kelly and it was harder to get a Birkin 35. So in my head, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to the pre-loved route for the Birkin 35 and I might find something vintage and I'm gonna put myself on the mini Kelly wish list. So what happens here in Barcelona is that a few cities here in Europe, they only offer the Cordo bags, Cordo bags being the Birkin, the Kelly and the Constance to locals, which for me seems to be very fair. They offer locals to be put on the wish list and if they happen to receive the bag that you put yourself on the list for it's your turn to get it doesn't matter if you spend x y and c so when i put myself on the wish list for this bag i was very specific that i wanted mini kelly and that i wanted an epsom leather and i was asked for a few colors and i gave a ton of colors i said that i wanted black gold whites any type of beiges i wanted green yellow blue even like a light pink like i was very very open because a mini bag you can have it in any color but due to the color of the bag i decided to put this so you could properly see it the lighting is not that good it's been super super cloudy this past few days but it's december in europe it's what's to be expected and if you want to see the day that i got the call to go pick this up i was vlogging when this happened i think it's vlogmas number two so when i put myself on the wish list i was actually aiming for my birthday but i think that it's kind of a thing that they get stuck before big holidays so this is probably going to be a very rambly video so I apologize in advance. I'll put on the description box the time when I open the bag because I, I know that people get annoyed when I talk too much and don't show straight away. So it comes with the receipt. You guys have no idea how excited I am about this bag. The smell of a new bag is insane. Super, super tiny. Same as always in its little box. We also have the raincoat and we have here the booklet. Okay, here comes the fun part. Guess the color because so many of you guessed the color so fast, like even on the Q&A, you guys know the color that it was, which is crazy to me because of course I didn't know what I was gonna get offered because I put like many, many shades and different colors on the wish list. So let me know what you think it is, but let's open it up. It's crazy to think that I actually got exactly the top of my list color that I wanted for a mini Kelly. And I'm really scared that the lighting of the camera is gonna mess the true shade of this bag, especially because it's so cloudy. I'm gonna try to put like videos of it so you can see it properly. 
Ah, it's beautiful, the little fit. I want to take the everything off because I'm definitely going to start using the bag as today. Like, it's going to be the Christmas Day bag. It's Claire. It's a mini Kelly in Claire with palladium hardware. And I know you would have thought that if I asked for Claire, I would have gone with gold hardware. But I actually think that Claire looks better in palladium because it makes it look a little bit more like vanilla. I have a mini Kelly now. And you know why it's so great that it's in this color? I use my white classic flap so much. It just looks so good with everything. So let's open it up. I am 5'1", so I believe that a mini Kelly was like the perfect size for me. It was too hard to find. I put myself on the wishes back home so many times and it never happened. But this is also so tiny. Ah, oh, it's so cute. This is the inside of the bag and the strap. So I actually saw it only like 10 seconds at the boutique. So I'm soaking it all in right now. Let's put the straps on. So here is with its strap. So if you came here to see the bag, here it is. And if everyone wants to hear like a little bit more of the backstory and to see what fits and mud shots and everything, you're welcome to stay. Okay, so the price of the bag was 6,000. Let me check on the receipt. It was 6,100 something. 6,150 euros. That this is gonna sound crazy, but in my opinion, compared to some Chanel bags, the price is around a uh, Lady Dior and way below any classic flap that you can come across. But when I got this one, next day I applied the one back in, one bag out policy. So I sold my Kelly to go in gold to make most of the money back. I felt a little bit nervous. So applying the one bag in, one bag out policy was responsible. And now I feel so good. Like I don't have any anxiety. I have no negativity. I'm just very happy about having the bag. And to be honest, I don't think that I would have used my Kelly to go as much now that we have this baby here so they just opened a new boutique here like the old one was a little bit small and there was not much space for items and they didn't have like a lot of stock ending of november they opened the new boutique like 100 feet away from the old one and this one is very very big so i do believe that when they reopened the store they brought a lot of stock so i think that was probably one of the reasons why i got so lucky maybe a lot of stock came in because it was like new store and holiday season coming around when i got the message i was asked if I wanted the mini Kelly and I was like of course wasn't sure about the color but I knew there was a mini Kelly in something that I asked for it was like a 10 minute type of thing I waited in the line outside and when I got into the store and he told me to wait a little second he brought the bag I held it for like 10 seconds and I was like yeah I'm gonna take it I paid and I left and that was pretty much it it was very very unexpected I actually was trying to get a lottery appointment in Paris so how this works is that there's this website that if you're in Paris you can fill in and and this gives you an appointment and many people get very lucky with this appointment but it's very hard to get one so since i live in barcelona it's only a two hour plane ride to fly to paris so i thought why not i mean if i get approved an appointment i'll just fly and i'm gonna ask for a mini kelly because i really didn't expect to get offered absolutely anything when i just got here and i had to restart at the store i wasn't sure how it worked i heard so many bad stories so when i moved i honestly thought like i'm gonna have to shop from the resale market if i want to get back from now on i'm really happy to say that i was very wrong so i would say that if you're in the us maybe when you're traveling try your luck but if you're in paris and london and like really really big cities i think that you may have a really good chance and also the price is way more affordable here like a mini kelly back in mexico this would have been way more expensive and i also never got offered so i'm so happy i i really am i know that i'm gonna use this bag a lot and i'm gonna love it so much i'm still on the wishes for the blanket though like i'm gonna get probably married before i get that freaking blanket and i've been looking for it for a really long time and i know that you're gonna tell me to go buy it on the pre-love market like i really want to get it from the boutique so i'm just gonna wait i'm on the list for it so if i get a call for the blanket i'm also gonna go for it but i would love to know your thoughts what do you think about the palladium hardware instead of gold i think it looks really really nice and we're gonna do a little bit of what fits inside the bag in case you were interested to see so we're gonna do a 360 of the bag so you can see it with a little bit more detail i'm going to close it up so you can see a little bit better so this is how it looks closed here we have the four feet at the bottom of the bag it has a stitching here and in this case this bag has white stitching all over the bag and it's epsom leather and it has a little handle which is very very practical this is a strap i'm gonna do mud shot so you can see a little bit better how it looks on Now we're gonna open it up. 
So this is how the bag looks open and you cannot see very well the stamp because it's in palladium. It only has a back pocket. Now let's take the stickers off because I'm really excited about that part. It also has embossing right here, but now let's do what fits inside of the bag. This is not my phone because I'm filming with my phone, but it's my boyfriend's. And this is an iPhone 13. I brought a note case, different types of card holders and makeup. So first we're gonna try to put the phone inside. Mine does fit and I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is the bigger one. And this fits inside, no issue. Let's try with the O-Case. Okay also no issue, but it takes almost all of the bag because the oak case is full but it does still close my personal recommendation is if you're gonna use a bag as small as this one just carry a card holder with you i don't really think you need more so i would take the card holder inside and i still have space for a compact lip gloss and there's space there also for my keys and i pretty much have with me everything that i could need i don't know what else you would try to put inside this one does fit too So I think for being such a small bag, it does pack enough. So I'm really excited to start using this one. I still have a lot to test on the bag. Of course, I haven't gotten the chance to use it. And hopefully this will become one of my favorite bags in my collection. I think this is going to be it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. If you're not done watching, I'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you wanna check them out. Thank you and see you on the next one. Bye.